What's up, Brittany? Once again, Nev from Nev's Tech Pits. Today I got an interesting piece of news come across my table. I thought we should talk about it. Mexico's sloppy hacking attempt exposes customers to a $1 billion software company. So ultimately, uh, there are individuals in Mexico who, brought, who bought spyware from an Israeli-based group that really doesn't want to be known about. They use it so blatantly, obviously, that not only do they get figured out, but... This group, the NSO that they bought everything from, also gets figured out. So that's pretty hilarious, disgusting, and stupid at the same time. I guess sometimes you got to watch who you sell your stuff to. A gr uh, customer of the secretive spyware maker NSO group is trying to hack a, uh, several journalists and human rights activists in Mexico. Why would you go after journalists and human rights people? That just that just makes you the bad guy immediately. It's, it's, is there any way... Is there any other way to make yourself look like you're the bad guy? There was a time when very few people heard about the NSO group, an Israeli software or spyware maker that sells wares to government agencies around the world. I keep hearing about these hacker groups, these uh, security groups that are operating out of Israel. Israel must have some pretty crazy hackers over there. The company was shrouded in mystery and rumors, such as the fact that it constantly changed names to avoid attracting too much attention. But it looks like that failed. They got the world's attention now. But in the last nine months, NSO has been in the news a lot, uh, first because of one of its customers in the Middle East targeted a well-known human rights activist with a sophisticated iPhone hacking tool. And that's really interesting because the iPhone is already hella locked down. But the thing that they got, it, it was actually a zero-day, a, a zero-day hacker vulnerability. Zero day means that it has been there forever and you have zero days to fix it. It's already there. It, it, it was made. It was there on the zero day. Anyway, so according to news reports, the phishing attempts by the NSO's Mexican customer are reckless and at times even sloppy. Uh, that's, why doesn't that surprise me? And they're putting the company that provides the technology behind them in the spotlight. It's very reckless. It's very noisy. Let's get down to see what they did. Okay, this is the stuff that makes you a bad human being. If you do stuff like this, if you're a hacker and you do stuff like this, you are a bad human being. If you are an Indian uh, from India and if you're calling people, if you're calling grandma up and getting her information by telling her that she has a virus, you are a bad person. If you made the WannaCry virus, the virus that has uh, has potentially killed people in in Britain because of how hard it hit their their health community, how hard it hit their hospitals. You are a bad person. Fake Amber Alerts, sending out fake Amber Alerts that are obviously BS, and you're supposed to click an exploit link. Once you click that, basically they have uh, some control of your system which is uh, which which is sad, disappointing. Why would you use this kind of stuff? You're you're seriously. You seriously, if you're religious, then you're tarnishing your immortal soul with stuff like this, really. So the the NSO's Pegasus solution is designed to serendipitously monitor your phone, getting the victim to click and then remain infected without raising suspicion is a delicate task. It is. It is. It is so hard. It is so hard to to hack a phone and make it un unless you have no idea what's on your phone if you have no idea the technology you use and how it's supposed to be operated then things can stay on your systems for a very very long time but it looks like in this particular case instead of being all sneaky like a ninja they decided to do a smash and grab attempt which uh, which makes it very obvious what you're doing and it's unfortunate for this company. Actually, maybe I shouldn't even say that. If they're releasing stuff like this, hey, maybe they deserve it. So here we go. The NSO's mission is to make the world a safer place by providing authority governments with technology that helps them combat terrorism and crime. The email statement says the company sells only to authorized government agencies and fully complies with the strict export control laws and regulations. Moreover, the company does not operate any of its systems. It is strictly a technology company. So it sells it sells this stuff. Let's hope they're not selling this stuff to terrorists. Let's hope they're not selling this to Saudi Arabia. Let's hope they're not selling it to any of the oil rich companies or sorry, countries that fund Al-Qaeda, that fund ISIS with their with their money. And if you don't know what's going on, 
basically the oil rich countries Saudi Arabia particularly is funding terrorism but nobody's going to do anything about it because they're rich and we love our money and geez that's just how it goes that's just how it goes so basically it's been determined that Saudi Arabia has something to do with 9-11 we have drawn conclusions that Saudi Arabia has stuff to do with 9-11 but we won't do anything about it because of how much money and how much power they have we decided to go after Iraq we did some pretty much false flag things uh, to go into Iraq saying that Iraq had uh, weapons of mass destruction saying they had tanks at the border but then we were only later learned that we were duped and that stuff never happened the American the American uh, leadership lied to their people to get into Iraq that's disappointing the real problem the real problem was Saudi Arabia, and uh, we're still fighting for the right. I believe they're still fighting for the rights to sue Saudi Arabia for that. But ultimately, guys, if you're hackers, if you're listening to this shit, don't do shit like this. Don't involve Amber Alerts. Don't fucking mess with healthcare systems. Don't do none of that stuff. Seriously, that makes you a bad human being. And it's easy to sell your human, good human being card in order to get a little bit more money. But come on, do you have a conscience? What's going on, people? Anyways, this NSO group is a group that I really look forward to looking into and doing a hacker who is on it. But really, I'm interested with how many of these groups come from Israel. Anyways, that's it for me. Never from those tech bits. Have a good one, guys. And keep making that man of your sandwiches, Brit. <laughs> have a good one.